fire sign. So what I was getting for you guys was there is something that you don't know about. I feel like you're on to it. Also, there's an obstacle that you can't see. And I feel like this obstacle is blocking you from either being in a connection that you want to be in or it could be a new beginning with someone. So, also, um, comment below if you guys want, like, the individual signs, if you want them bi-weekly or monthly. Because I feel like when I do the weekly messages, there's a lot of the same messages repeating. So, I don't know, maybe they're too close together. So, yeah, comment bi-weekly or monthly what you guys prefer. So far, we have the Lover's card, the King of Swords, and the Tower. Okay. So, this is kind of telling me that there could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Or this could just be someone that is communicating with you. Strong Gemini energy here. Somebody wants to tell you something, and I feel like this news is going to surprise you with the tower. Or you could have to tell this person that this could be vice versa. But with King of Swords here, this is communication. A message that surprises you. Also, I'm getting that you could feel a very strong connection with the air sign, or they could feel a very strong connection with you. This is a surprise to somebody. But, um, we do have the four swords here, so nobody is really saying anything. Someone could have got rejected in the past. We do have the four of cups here. So whether you rejected or you did the rejecting, you could have rejected this person in the past. But it's like, somebody's stuck thinking about this connection. What are the messages for fire signs? Yeah, somebody's keeping it to themselves. I feel like this person has not emotionally walked away from this connection yet. But it could be a secret that you feel this way for this person or that they feel this way for you. Okay, yeah, Eight of Cups in reverse. Somebody has not walked away. What are the messages for fire signs? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, okay, good. Ace of Cups, yeah, somebody wants a new beginning. I feel like this could be mutual, the lover's card is very mutual energy. You both want this new beginning. But it's a big secret for some reason. This person might not know that you feel the same way and vice versa. What are the messages for fire signs? There's Leo and Sagittarius. The magician. So you guys are manifesting each other back into your lives a lot of gemini energy here you could be dealing with one or one could be coming in for you now with this connection this could be there could be an obstacle here and maybe you guys don't know what it is clarify the lovers card clarify the lovers okay. yeah it's a pause i feel like there's some timing it's not the right time for some reason we do have the ace of wands so i do see a reconciliation or um, a new beginning between you guys. Doesn't necessarily feel like an ex, it could be. Could be dealing with the Pisces as well, but there's some time, like there's something off at the times. Clarify the King of Swords. Why is King of Swords here? Eight of Pentacles, this person could be working. Also, I feel, the, oh, hello. This person feels the same way you do. We have the lover's card twice. So this is a very mutual energy between you two. With the Eight of Pentacles clarifying the King of Swords, they could be very, very focused on work. Like just even in this picture, this person just looks very focused on work and nothing is breaking their focus. Okay. Clarify the tower. What is the tower card here? Um, I'm getting something, okay. Yeah, Nine of Wands, you could give up on a connection. I feel like this could be a connection that you're currently in. Or maybe they're in a connection and they're giving up on it. Any more on the tower card? Okay. okay, yeah. Seven of Wands. Somebody's dealing with something currently. This could be you. Is dealing with someone. It's almost like it's a secret that maybe somebody else has your attention. Or this could be vice versa. Also getting something's falling apart and it feels like a relationship. It doesn't have to be themselves falling apart and this could be the obstacle. Where about the seven of wands? Okay, oh, I don't know why I just got this. I feel like something 
for me taking a long time to come to an end or a long time to fall apart. It's almost like someone is waiting for something to fall apart. This could be you. It could be the person that you're with, whoever. But somebody's waiting for something to pretty much fall apart. Where about the strength card? Yeah, the three of cups. It's almost like after whatever this is falls apart, you and this person can reunite. So I do see... Yeah, I definitely see you guys come back together. But it's almost like this tower does not... You're waiting for this. Somebody is waiting for this. It's almost like it's wanted, whatever this is, is to fall apart. So you and this person can reconcile. Clarify the Four of Swords. Clarify the Four of Swords. Okay. Yeah, the Five of Swords. Somebody's just waiting. I feel like waiting in secret as well. The moon card right next to this. Somebody's just waiting for you. Or you're waiting for them or waiting for... You can know it's not the right time. Like I feel like you're just waiting for shit to pop off, pretty much. For some reason, I'm getting that phrase. You're waiting for shit to pop off. Okay. And this thing you don't know about, you might not know exactly what it is, but you can know that maybe somebody's not being the most honest. The Five of Swords is kind of not playing fair. Clarify the moon. Why is the moon card here? Okay. Could be dealing with a Pisces or a Cancer with the Queen of Cups. But I'm also getting this is feelings. Somebody doesn't know your true feelings for them or vice versa. Clarify the Queen of Cups. Yeah, scared to reveal it. And this could be you. We have the sun card here. You could be scared to reveal how you feel to this person. I'm also getting with Zeta Cups in reverse. There could be a current situation that maybe you're not walking away from. It could be with Capricorn, Cancer, and a Leo. Clarify the Eight of Cups in reverse. Okay. Yeah, someone's holding on. The four, yeah, four pentacles clarifying the eight of cups in reverse. Someone's holding on. Clarify the four of pentacles. So, yeah, someone's gonna make an offer to you. They're just, they just haven't. I feel like they're waiting for you to give cl like clarity on how you feel about them. Or they could be waiting for this connection to fall apart before they message you or before you message them. Hmm. Clarify the Ace of Swords in the verse. Yeah, the High Priestess. This person's just going with the flow. It's not like they're waiting for the very perfect time to message you to swoop in you definitely could be doing with the pisces we have a lot of pisces energy here clarify the ace of cups clarify the ace of cups okay yeah judgment in the two of wands i feel like the cbu is making this decision trying to decide pretty much what to do to let go of the connection that you're currently in and pursue with something new, whether you have someone waiting or another option or not, you could be wondering if it's the right decision to go for a new option or to just pretty much, or to work on yourself. We do have the Hermit card here and the Seven of Cups. So I feel like either way, you're deciding if you want to leave this situation. There could be a lot of conflict around it, a lot of secrets around it. And you're debating if you even want to continue this, whether you go to somebody else or not. Clarify the magician. Clarify the magician. Okay. So yeah, I think you want peace. Whatever you're in right now, it be causing you a lot of stress. There's not a lot of pinnacles here, so I don't think we're talking about work. But whatever connection you are in or dealing with, it's causing you a lot of stress and you just want peace. You want to work on yourself. You have the strength card with the hermit here. A lot of you guys have Virgo in your chart. But 
you want you want to work on yourself. Either that, or you or you want to go towards this new option, or both. What is the advice for fire signs? Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. What is the advice for fire signs? Oh, Empress. Okay, new beginning. Also, as advice, I gotta take this as focus on yourself and your happiness and your abundance. Okay. So we have the Seven of Swords. I'm almost getting with this. Seven of Swords, we have the bottom of the deck, we have the Eight of Swords. Almost be very clear about what you want with whoever. Whether you want to leave this other person or what, like, be very clear about what you want to change in the connection. It's like, the advice is just to be very clear to everyone at this time. I feel like a lot of people can have you misunderstood. Yeah, especially in your relationship. Two of Cups, be very clear about what you want. Someone's keeping, yeah, someone's keeping something to themselves. It could be you. Then maybe you're uncertain about what you want to do. So the advice is just to be very clear. So, anyway, I hope that this was a good reading for you. If you would like a personal reading, there's information down below on how you could get one. And enjoy the rest of your week.